most of the people are faced with the question of how to stop procrastination and start accomplishing tasks. The decision of stopping procrastination rests with the individuals. Once the decision is taken, the drafting of plan for attaining success is very necessary. Today we are sharing 7 ways to stop procrastination and get things done. 1. Find the reasons for procrastination. There are different reasons for the procrastination habits of people. These reasons range from the fear of success or failure or just plain laziness. By identifying the reasons of procrastinations, proper plan can be developed for its eradication. This plan needs to center around how to stop procrastination. The plan will help the individuals in getting motivated, thus giving them a better life. 2. Learn about building self-confidence. Self-confidence is the major factor for motivation. Fear of rejections, fear of failures, and the feeling of being undeserving or unworthy are the common reasons for procrastination. Taking positive steps in building the self-confidence enhances the chances of getting motivated. The act of procrastination in itself is a reason for lack of self-confidence among the individuals. This gives rise to the feelings of stress, anxiety, and guilt, which leads to unfulfilled dreams and goals. This increases the need of discovering the methods on how to stop procrastination. 3. What can I do to stop procrastinating? The easiest way to not procrastinate is to learn about your procrastination style and what is you need. You can sit alone, in a quiet space, and ask yourself why you procrastinate. Then listen for an answer. Ask yourself what is the advantage, and again wait and listen for an answer. Ask what you need to stop procrastinating and listen. Your body knows the answers, and those answers may surprise you. Once you know the problems, it will be easier to stop your procrastination and start doing. 4. Become more active in your life. The other thing is to ask yourself is, am I being active or am I being productive? Being active means you are doing busy work. It may be work, it may be something that needs doing, but it is not something that will help you reach your goals. Being productive means you are taking active steps towards your end goals. Then you can focus on being productive. 5. Go outside and do any activity you like. One of the biggest reasons to stop being a procrastinator is it makes everything easier on you unbelievably. You will go easier on yourself and you will stop beating yourself up. Going ahead and doing what needs to be done will accomplish that easy calm feeling and allow you to move on, but if you keep putting something off, then that small job will become much larger instantly. Sometimes you can spend so much planning on how to do the task that you never actually get to the task. So the key is to plan only little or just enough to get you started and then start the task. When you have multiple things at hand to do during the day, one of the ways to beat procrastination is to complete the largest task first. This will eliminate one of your biggest reasons why you procrastinate during the day and then everything else will be downhill for the remainder of your workday. 6. Make a decision and start working on it. Making a decision, any kind of decision, is the first and biggest steps to getting anything done. Once you make a firm decision, it will be easier to put motion into your decisions and then all you have to do is continue to make decisions throughout the day and the rest of your life. Procrastination doesn't have to do control you because the secrets to stop procrastinating now lie within yourself and all you have to do is act on your own decisions and urges. 7. Develop a habit smartly. When we procrastinate, what we're usually doing is resisting doing something different than we normally do. We have our routines that we're in. We're all creatures of habit. We like to do the same things at around the same times every day. And when we're procrastinating, what we're doing is going, oh, I don't really want to do that thing right now. Sometimes we don't know why. We're coming up with a bunch of excuses. And it's usually just because it's not habit. It's not routine. It's not something that we do automatically every day. As an example, I struggled for years with trying to get my sleep and my exercise and my diet all in shape. Well, that all changed when I built a simple routine where I go to sleep at the same time, I wake up around the same time, and then I do my exercise first thing, and then I eat healthy meal first thing, and then I just made routine out of that. So I go to sleep, I get enough sleep, I wake up, first thing that I do is that I make sure that I get my exercise, and then I have healthy meal. Now I'm pulled into these routines every day, and I don't have to worry about procrastinating because it's ritual. It's something that I do the same every day. Take action right now. Next, we have the fear reason. This one is a lot harder to overcome than the time management reason. One way to deal with this is to imagine the worst possible outcome that could happen if you take action. 
Most of the time, you will see that the worst possible action you can achieve from taking action is still far better than if you do nothing at all. This is a matter of putting everything into perspective and can be very helpful in getting you over your fear and help you to get things done. If you found this video helpful, then like, share, and subscribe our channel to get future videos.